Here we have a data set of 25 numbers, so sample size of 25, that's n equal 25 here. Well, we want to find the 64th percentile and 23rd percentile. So remember, uh, 64th percentile means the value with 64% of the data below it. So what we first do is we're going to use this formula, uh, L equals P over 100 times N. So our P in part A is 64, so P is the percentile. So here we want to take that 64, divide by 100. So basically take the percentile as a decimal and multiply it by the sample size of 25. So this is uh, saying what position uh, is that percentile going to be in. So let's compute this. Uh, so we want 64 divided by 100 and then uh, times 25. So 16. So this is 16. And if that ends up uh, being a whole number, you average the 16th and the 17th position. So you do 16th plus 17th divided by 2. So let's see here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 is, 16th is 30, 17th is 31. So we're going to do 30 plus 31 and divide by 2, which is going to be 30.5. So it's actually not a number in the list. So uh, and that sometimes happens. Uh, so 30.5 has 64% of the data below it. And then uh, we want to do the 23rd percentile, so P equals 23. So this will be then 23 divided by 100 times that sample size of 25. Let's go ahead and compute that. So 23 divided by 100 times 25. 5.75. And if you get a decimal, you always round up. So this rounds up to 6. So that means the sixth position. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 is in the sixth position right there. So 10 is the 23rd percentile.